If you use the playback app from Multitracks, you can use the MIDI out feature in their app to control the slides in Easy Worship. This is an amazing feature because this will allow you to set up the MIDI cues ahead of time so you will never miss a slide or have a slide show up too late. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your iPad to your computer running Easy Worship and how to create the MIDI cues in playback to control your Easy Worship slides. The first thing you need to do is make sure your Easy Worship computer and your iPad are connected to the same network, whether it's Wi Fi or LAN or both. There are a couple of utilities you'll need to install on your Easy Worship computer to make the connection work. The first is Bonjour. This is a service that allows your iPad to connect to your PC through a Wi Fi connection. To install Bonjour, go to the Easy Worship support page at support.easyworship.com and search Bonjour and select Installing Bonjour for Easy Worship Remote and MIDI over Wi Fi. Follow the steps on that page to install Bonjour. Once that's complete, open Easy Worship and click the Remote button on the toolbar. If you don't see a Remote button, you'll need to enable it in the Edit menu and go to Options, then Advanced, and check the box next to Enable Remote Control and click OK. From the Remote button, hover over MIDI and click the plus button in the bottom left corner to create a new MIDI control. When the MIDI control window opens, click the link in the bottom left corner that says More Information to download and install RTP MIDI. Easy Worship uses RTP MIDI for the network connection between your iPad and PC. A browser window will open with instructions and a link in the top right corner to download RTP MIDI. Once installation is complete, go ahead and launch RTP MIDI. In the top left, you'll see a box named My Sessions. Click the plus button at the bottom of the box to create a session. It should now show a session with your computer name. Check the box next to it to enable that session. Just below the session box, you'll see a box named Directory. This will list all devices that it can connect to. You should see your iPad listed here. If you don't, make sure it's on and unlocked. Select your iPad and click Connect. You'll now see your iPad listed in the participants list on the right. You can now close out of RTP MIDI and go back to Easy Worship. In the MIDI control window, you can create a control name. The input MIDI device is going to be this PC, so click the drop-down and select your PC name. If you want to use a specific MIDI channel, select one here. Otherwise, leave it on any and then go to the Input Cues tab. Don't get overwhelmed by this screen. All of the notes are already set to work with playback, so you don't need to change anything here but you will want to leave this window open to reference what notes you want to use for creating the cues in playback. So now let's go to multitracks.com and set up those cues. Once you're there, sign into your account and click on Library on the left. Click on the song you want to add MIDI cues to and then click the MIDI tab. Since we're going to be controlling the lyrics in Easy Worship, we'll leave the default setting on Lyrics. To add the first cue, click in the Note On field and type in the timing where you want the cue to be. If you want to play the song in the playback app and pause it where you want the cue, you can see the timing and enter it in on the website. Under Note, select the note for Next Build or Slide in Easy Worship, which is A. Easy Worship defaults to a negative 2 octave, so unless you've changed that in Easy Worship, select negative 2. Velocity is not being used, so you can leave that on 1. 
If you want to jump to a specific slide or schedule item, you will use velocity to specify that slide number or schedule number. For instance, if you want to jump to slide 5, you'll set the note to E for slide number and set the velocity to 5 for slide number 5. If you set the cue up that way, when playback hits that cue, Easy Worship will jump to slide 5 in the song. You can also add a description if you want. To add more cues, click the Add Cue button and continue adding all the cues you need for that song. Click Save when you're finished. If you have a .mid file for the song, you can click Upload .mid file and add that. It will then import all the cues for you from that file. Now you can go back to the Playback app and tap Edit. Then tap on the three dots on the song, and at the bottom of the pop-up window, select Refresh MIDI Cues. All of the cues you just entered in online should show up on your song in playback. Tap Edit again to exit out of edit mode. The last setup you need to do is tap the hamburger icon in the top right corner in playback and go to Settings. Make sure MIDI Out is enabled at the bottom of the General tab. Then go to the MIDI tab and next to Lyrics, tap on Select a Port and select your session. Mine says Network Session. If you selected a specific channel in Easy Worship, you'll want to also select that channel here. If you left it set to any channel in Easy Worship, you can leave it on channel 1, and then make sure it's enabled. You can now close the settings by pressing the X in the top right corner. Now go back to the PC and click OK on the MIDI control window. The last thing we need to do for setup is click the remote button on the toolbar in Easy Worship and hover over MIDI and next to your MIDI connection, click the lock button to unlock it and allow it to receive the MIDI cues from your playback app. From the Songs tab in Easy Worship, find the same song you were working with in playback and add it to your schedule by dragging and dropping it. Now you can go live to your song in Easy Worship, and when you play your track in playback, your slides will advance each time it hits one of the MIDI cues. This is an amazing feature and very helpful if you use playback for your tracks and Easy Worship. You can set up all your songs with MIDI cues and not even need anyone at the computer, except to initially go live to the song. And you will never miss a slide cue again. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing Easy Worship.